So why don't you go ahead and tell me what happened? It wasn't my fault. I wasn't even there. I don't even know those people. Hit Film Sensei here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the witness protection effect, which comes for free in Hit Film 4 Express. So you can download Hit Film 4 Express and it doesn't cost you a single dime. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna start by making this raw footage into a composite shot. I'm gonna right click on it and say make composite shot. I can also use control M and click OK. In the composite shot, what I need to do is I need to track where my face goes throughout this shot so that I can put the witness protection effect on it and then it will stick to my face the whole time. But the problem is, is my face moves around a lot, number one, and then I turn my face too and that makes it awfully hard to track. But we're gonna help the tracking process and we're gonna get it done. So we're gonna start by opening up the raw file here and under tracks, the very first one, I'm gonna click the little plus icon, okay? That flips us over to the layer, which you can't see it in the viewer, but we're gonna stay in the layer. And this is our tracking information right here. So I'm gonna use my mouse wheel to scroll in a little bit. I'm gonna bring this up and put it right on my face. I'm gonna expand the tracking area that I wanna track and I'm going to kind of dial that in a bit. Uh, and I'm gonna try to track right on my nose and or my ear. Uh, and so we're gonna start tracking forward and it's going to have some problems. So I track a little bit and it works okay for a while. Uh, but then when I go to turn my head, it's just not gonna be happy. Uh, and there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm just going to place it on my eyeglasses and maybe hope that it works better and we keep going forward and it's working fairly okay uh, but again it'll have some problems when it turns so I'm just gonna help the track along right and I'm gonna keep doing this until I get my track I'm actually going to go ahead and speed this up so that you don't have to sit here and watch me do the whole thing at speed okay and with a little bit of help we managed to get the full track and it will be good enough for what we are going to do so now i'm going to come back over to the viewer layer and i'm going to add a new layer and it's a point layer i could say Control alt p or i could just click this way and i'm going to rename that track face okay and then under the tracker I'm going to take the purpose transform and I'm going to transform it to the track face layer or point. So now when I've done that, what you'll see is, is that all of these positional data points have been placed on the face tracker. And if you were to put it on there, then you would be able to see that as I scrub through the timeline, that point follows my face all the way through the video. So now it's very easy to look for search in the search button under the effects for the witness protection effect. It's under the distort and I'm gonna drop that right on the raw too and you can see there it is. And all I'm going to do is look under the effect under position and use layer under center track face. And now it's sitting right on top of my face. And so when I scrub through the timeline now, you can see that that witness protection actually follows my face around. And that's it. It's just that simple. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. Think about subscribing to the channel if you like what you see. Otherwise, thanks for watching.